Welcome back my friends. Today we're here with a slightly different type of problem to fix. Recently I went to Home Depot to return a number of things that I had uh, that I didn't need and as it turns out I couldn't find my receipts. I'm always noting oh I gotta save this receipt so I have a pile of receipts in my car, a pile of receipts on my workbench at home, a pile of receipts uh, in our filing system and then I can never find the receipts that I need. So today I want to show you how to come up with a simple solution if you have an iPhone for free to easily record your receipts and they'll be stored in your iCloud account forever for future reference. That way all you have to do is show a cashier your phone at the store, they'll have your receipt, you're good to go. Let's go. All right, so what we're gonna make is a simple one-touch solution that you can put a shortcut on your home screen, touch it, snap a picture of your receipt, name it, and then your phone will create a PDF of it and store it in your iCloud selected folder. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to have to go in the App Store and search for an app named Actions. And it's not the one by Moleskin. Not that one. It's this one that a really cool developer made for free because he likes developing apps and making useful things. You can see I had downloaded it before, but I'm just gonna do it again. So download that app and we'll let that go. And even if you tap open, what you're gonna see is it really doesn't have a user interface. It's gonna tell you, well, first it's gonna ask you, do you wanna use Bluetooth uh, for one of the actions that it can perform? Um, I would typically say, no, don't allow, but that's up to you. So anyway, you can see the app has no user interface. Basically, it just provides shortcut actions. So we'll close that out. And the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go into files. And what you can do is you can go to your iCloud Drive. And then what you'll want to do is create a new folder called Receipts or something like that. So you can tap that new folder, name it whatever you want. I'm actually going to not name it because I've already got one here named Receipts. And then within Receipts, I have one for clothing, one for Costco, one for electronics, Home Depot, Lowe's, medical receipts, um, and so forth. So you can name them for whatever receipts you think you typically might want or need to save. Okay, so once you've done that in your iCloud Drive, uh, make sure you have iCloud Drive selected too, not uh, on my iPhone the iCloud Drive not on my iPhone. All right, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is open up Shortcuts. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is open up the Shortcuts app, and you're gonna go to All Shortcuts, and add a new shortcut. So we are going to rename it, so you tap up here to rename, and we're gonna call it Receipt Scanner. Now there are some paid options for this in the App Store, but I would prefer to do this for free if I can. All right, so now we're gonna add our first action. So you can search for the action you want. So type in scan, and it's gonna go through the different scan options that are available. I did download another app, uh, app called Toolbox Pro, but unfortunately you do have to pay for that function. So here you go with Actions app that we just downloaded, Scan Documents iOS only. Now, because it's technically taking you out of the app into the scanner in Notepad, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the wait function. So you're gonna type in wait, and the wait to return, because you're going out of shortcuts and then you're coming back into shortcuts. So wait to return. Then, what you're gonna do next is you're going to search for get clipboard. There we go, get clipboard. Next, we're gonna have to do a little scripting. So you're gonna set a variable. Set variable. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna set the variable. You could call it scanned receipt. Oops, spelled that. 
to the clipboard. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to tap on Make PDF. There we go. In the Documents option, Make PDF. So you're going to make PDF from that variable, scanned receipt, and then we're going to do another variable. So we're going to set variable and make a new one. Scanned. PDF to the PDF. Now one extra step I like to add in here is to optimize the file size. See? Optimize file size of PDF. And we will optimize the file size and it automatically adds that variable of scanned PDF. Which is fantastic. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to set the name of it so that you can name it for the date you want shopping or whatever you want it to be. Set name of optimize PDF to, and we can select here the different options. Name, and you can slide over here. For text, it's going to ask you each time. So it'll name it for you. And then the last step is going to be save. You hit tap save file and it'll automatically fill in renamed item because you just renamed it. And you're going to select, it'll either ask you where to save or if you turn that off. You can actually pick where you want it to save. I don't want it to save shortcuts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on this and go back. I'm going to go to iCloud Drive. I'm going to go down to my Receipts folder. Tap on that. Tap on Open. And now it'll automatically save that renamed item to the Receipts folder. Then you hit Done. I'm going to show you how it works. So actually the next thing you could do is tap on it. And then you can hit the little Share. Add to home screen, and you can change whatever the uh, you can change the icon to whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. We'll hit add. Oh, there it is, it did pop up right there. So that's it. So, what it's gonna do, so I have a Costco receipt right here. I'll show you, it's pretty cool. I hit receipt scanner. And it's going to ask you, you know, actions would like to access the camera. Okay. Now the document in view, but it just did that. Now I'll hit save. And it's going to ask me, what do I want now to name it? So I'm going to say YouTube demo. Done. And it's going to ask you the first time you run this, if you want this to allow uh, it to save to your files. And you can hit always allow. Now that's done. So now when I go into my files, go to iCloud Drive, I'll go down to my receipts. And there's the YouTube demo. And it's only 983 kilobytes. And see if I tap on it, it's got the whole receipt and with a scannable barcode. Nice and easy. And so this is dumping it into the main receipts um, folder. And what you'll do is I set a reminder for myself to once a week go in and arrange these. So what you could do is just tap on it, move, pick which one I want it to move to. Uh, I want to go to the Cloud Drive, Receipts folder, Costco, and move it there. And you can move them all around to your liking in each individual folder. But that's a nice, easy way to save all of your receipts. You can add a home screen shortcut. And I even use this app. This app I paid for. It's called Launcher, but you can see how many apps I can actually squeeze onto my home screen. A lot of them get run through shortcuts. 
And I even made a little icon for a, a receipt scanner, so that's in there too, so I could actually get rid of this guy. But that's it. Simple way that's completely free to keep track of your receipts, because I know if you're like me, you can never find them. All right, guys, that's it. That's a wrap for today. I hope you found that uh, helpful. And if you don't want to go through all the effort of actually going through the steps of doing those shortcuts, I'll, uh, I'll leave the iCloud link uh, for my particular shortcut so you can actually just click on it and download it straight to your phone uh, if, you, if you want. If not, you can make your own. Or, you know, you might have an even better way to do it. If you do, leave it down below in the comments. Again, hope this was helpful. Uh, always appreciate a like and a subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.